how to create a group. You can see in front of us that we've got five groups. So you can see them here with an image, a title, etc. You can see the number of responses and when they were last updated. So let's have a look at how we can create a group, put the image in and various other settings that we might want to choose. So we go over to the right hand side here to plus group. Click on that, we get two options. One is to create a group, one is to join a group. If we wanted to join a group, that would be joining a group that another colleague teacher has made for us. But in this case, we're going to create a group from scratch. So we'll click on create a group. And you can see that by default, uh, an image is presented to us. We can change that in a moment. But before we do that, let's go and name it. The good news is we can change any of this. We can come back and look at it and change it. So we don't have to worry about getting it absolutely spot on the first time. But in this case, let's give this a name. So we'll call this Reflections of Using Flipgrid. I want to give it a different picture so I can edit theme there by clicking on that. And you can see by default that Flipgrid will give us a number of images already. So we could choose any one of those. We can go from art to nature to people to textures, as you can see, and scroll down if you want to choose one. Or additionally, you can add your own. So if we just click on this button here, it will ask us to find a file. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to navigate to my pictures and I've got an image of Flipgrid. So I'm going to attach that there and save changes. So we've got our title, we've got our image now. If we scroll down here, we can invite members to our group in a number of different ways. You can share the link. And you can share the link with anyone with the, with the link at all or only people you approve. So you have that option to approve people. But in school, the best way to do it is via email. So if we activate the email here, it says we need to type in the email or the domain. So for example, we're going to put in at school.com and that might be the name of your school.com or .co.uk or whatever it happens to be. Then anybody within your school who has that email domain will be able to access it. So that's a really useful one. If you're using Google Classroom, my school is not, you can invite them from using Google Classroom. And once that's created, we can then simply click create group and the group is created. And then you get options to share that group with your students. So you can see here that we could use a QR code, you could download that and then project that on the board, or you could send it via Teams or email. So now you can see we've got the group created and this is what it looks like from the teacher's point of view. You can very quickly go up to members view there. If we click on that, you can see what it looks like from the student's point of view. And you can see that we've got a topic, we've got one member, that would be me, the lead, and we haven't added any other topics yet. So let's go back and in the next video, we'll look at how we can edit and change the settings in the group.